Hello and welcome to season two of A Journey of Discovery. For all of the new followers, my name is TJ. This is where we come together to discover God, discover you, and discover more of the abundant life that he has for you. Last week, we discussed how to have more love, grace, compassion, and mercy for our unbelieving loved ones because there were things that were happening in the heart and in the spirit against them. If you didn't get a chance to check out that video, be sure to check it out here. Now, YouTube says if I point here, all of a sudden, you're going to see that video. We shall see. But if not, you can go to Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube and find that episode. It's season one, episode nine. But what I wanted to, you know, address in that video was towards the end when Jesus was walking with Peter and Jesus was revealing his assignment his purpose, his calling to him. And as, you know, Peter was taking all of this in, Peter turned and said, what about John? And Jesus gently redirected him and told him to focus on what he was calling him to do. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because I don't want us to get so focused on our unbelieving spouse or our unbelieving children that we lose focus of the one who created us, the one who is calling us into this place of relationship with him. Jesus is our first ministry. And I want to make sure that we are devoting our time to him in this place. Because once we give him our all, he'll take care of everything else. He'll be able to help us in all of the different relationships that we encounter and in life. He'll be able to walk with us and to guide us in all of that. Now, one of the things that I love is when is this. Here's a picture of what it looks like to walk with the Lord when we see Peter and Jesus. As they are walking together, guess what is happening? The Lord is revealing to Peter his assignment, his calling, his purpose, and his identity. Do you know what your calling is? Do you know what your purpose is? What is the Lord assigning you right now? What is your God-given identity? If you don't know any of those answers, or if you know maybe some of those answers, do not, Fred, you are in the right place because that's what I want to do. I want us to go after those answers. And those answers can only be found in relationship with the Lord as we walk with him. And that is one of, oh my goodness, my desire for the body of Christ is so centered around this only because I was in a place of lack. I didn't even know how to have a relationship with God, if I'm honest. Um, I, I didn't grow up in the church and I definitely didn't know how to be in relationship with God without asking him for something. I just felt like I asked and he is supposed to provide. And that's that was the extent of it. But I didn't know how to be in a genuine relationship with him. And I feel like that's where a journey of discovery was birthed back in 2015. It came out of a place of lack and into a place of fulfillment. I was once in a place of lack where I didn't know how to do any of these things. I didn't know how to have a relationship with the Lord. I didn't know how to hear his voice. I didn't even know what my identity was. And it wasn't until 2000, um, 2013, I think, 2013, that I discovered these things and I decided, oh my goodness, it was a game changer for me. Before, and let me tell you why it's a game changer to me, because before I did everything that a Christian was supposed to do, I checked off all of the boxes, I went to church, I read my Bible, I prayed and I served, but there was still such a a lack. There was a void. There was something missing. And that was relationship because if I needed to hear God's voice, if I was in a place where I was desperate to hear him, if I was in a difficult situation, I was desperate to hear his guidance and, and to hear comfort and encouragement or to just give me direction. And I couldn't hear it. It just left me feeling frustrated and alone. And I felt like when I talked to God that 
my my words just fell on deaf ears because even if he could talk back to me, I didn't know how. And once that, once I was able to hear his voice or learn how to hear his voice, it became a complete game changer. No longer do the words God loves me, you know, just, I just read them, but now I can hear him say it. Tell me if you can't already just feel or sense that difference, right? If somebody just, you know, writes to you, I love you and versus them saying it. And you hear in the tone of their voice, are you hearing the emotions exude from their, their voice as they tell you? That changes everything. And that is what I desire for you. That is my hope. That is my prayer is that you too will learn how to be in relationship with God, how to hear his voice and learn who you are in Christ. And in this, I want to be able to equip you with practical tips and tools on how to obtain um, a deeper relationship with the Lord and how to position you in order to achieve those things. All you have to do is come with a hungry heart, willing to put forth the work and to learn in how to do these things. Because I want a journey of discovery. I want in this season for it to become interactive. So if at any point you have questions, I want you to type them in the comments. If if you don't feel comfortable typing them in the com comments, I want you to go ahead and send me a private message. But I want to be able to serve you and to teach you and to equip you with doing the very things that my heart longed for so many years ago. But then the Lord, you know, he, he blessed me. He blessed me with how to do the very things that I desired. And that is what I want to do for you. There is a universal call for us to return to our first love. Jesus died so that he can restore fellowship back to the Father for us. Let's take advantage of that. Let's remember the joy and the excitement and the love that we felt when we first met Christ. And let us learn now how to cultivate that relationship where maybe you have tried in the past and you failed. I don't want you to give up. I want you to jump right back in and get and, and, and put forth the work, right? A relationship. We know in, in a human relationship that it takes work for a relationship to blossom and grow. Well, guess what? It's no different with the Lord. Again, this is my heart. This is my passion is for the body of Christ to learn those three foundational things because I think it's going to set you up for success, right? We want to be like men and women after God's own heart. And let that start with a our hearts yearning for his heart to be in deeper relationship with him. So if this is a journey that you are ready to go on, I want you to type in the comments below. Let's go on this journey. I'm ready to dive deeper with the Lord and we are going to set sail. So I will see you guys next week. I look forward to this next season. You be blessed.